Hey, 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 Nindy and Indie fans, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at Nexomon Extinction, which is a game which may look similar to you. I'll show you one thing. Yeah, you know what kind of thing we're dealing with here. Uh, I'd say the inspiration is fairly clear. But the question is, is this a good uh, variant on the classic catch them all formula and to be honest yeah it's quite enjoyable now what i'm going to be doing today is just giving you guys a look at a bit of the game a couple of hours in now i think at this point we're maybe only about two or three hours in so we're really early on in the grand scheme of things but yeah i wanted to show you guys quite an early part of the game just to kind of show everybody what this game is in essence so clearly the Pokemon inspiration is plain as day and Nexomon is a title which was originally on mobile the original game was on mobile devices and the sequel is working its way over to the Nintendo Switch and other systems so yeah essentially this is kind of the state of play here so unlike the you know the mainline pokemon games there's actually not kind of like a gym system here so from what i've been doing so far a lot of it has been hang on i'm, I'm trying to deal with this guy's psychic pokemon um <laughs> psychic nexomon see it's difficult to even not say the name but yeah, so, so far it has been a really enjoyable experience. And essentially, a lot of what you're doing is you're kind of doing these uh, menial tasks for other people. You're part of a tamer guild and you're kind of, uh, you know, doing a lot of things to help other people. But there's also a main plot involving these kind of like mega Nexomons that are called Tyrants. And you've got an egg for one of those at the moment. And I'm really interested in all honesty to actually see where the game is going to go with this plot. But yeah, at its core, it is extremely, um, you know, Pokemon in nature. And to be honest, it's like, what do you expect? I think it's fairly clear that the game has its inspiration on its sleeve in regards to its Pokemon-like traits. And yeah, like I said, I don't really see that as being much of a problem. Here we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give a potion to our... So yeah, typing-wise, the typings all completely carry across from, uh, you know, kind of game to game. So, you know, grass is strong against psychic, water is strong against fire, and so on and so forth. And to be honest, I kind of think it actually really works um, for the good of Nexomon that they've kind of ensured that they've kept the core type systems in the game because you know if I'm being honest people who you know most of the people who are interested in this game are people that are naturally coming from the Pokemon games so you know the main thing they kind of understand is that well you know I know how typing works in Pokemon and then they are kind of being like well so I assume typings are the same and yeah you know typings are um, Literally the same. Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Alright, we'll just try and do a bullet seed. It won't work because he's tired, but... Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, okay, that's still enough damage. We'll bring... Uh, Griffgar back in. But yeah, this one has been a really pleasant surprise for me, if I'm being honest. I wasn't... Sure what to really expect because I'd seen a little bit of the game itself and a few trailers and whatnot. But yeah, the experience that I've been, you know, playing so far has, in all honesty, been really quite positive. I've really been enjoying what I've had the chance to go through so far. And I definitely, as someone who, um, to perhaps much controversy, skipped out on the last set of mainline Pokemon games. I've really been enjoying Nexomon. I think it's definitely something a little bit different. And, you know, 
it's probably not as good as you know the mainline kind of top tier Pokemon games but for what it's worth I, I think this is a fairly decent substitute on the switch and I definitely think it's worth uh, having a look at here we go now that's, that will finish that battle and hopefully we'll get some Pokemon some next one even leveling up and we do we get two leveling ups here yeah. leveling up right there so here we go now we're gonna go so yeah you can probably tell you know this is a you know the, the the game isn't afraid to kind of show the inspiration on its sleeve you know if you look you kind of uh, so you've got uh, nexo traps which are obviously pokeballs in essence uh, food see I like the food system so I'll have to uh, actually tell you what I might try and let me try and show the food system I'm just gonna have to uh, heal my nexo one first so we'll go back through here to uh we need to find well we need to just go to a healer oh no don't be a battle right we are going to lose this battle and i'm fully prepared for that fact because my team is nearly dead so there's this like tiredness system that uh the game's really a big fan of and i'm not i don't really like how it works so essentially, obviously in the mainline, uh, so in the Pokemon games, and yeah, there will be a lot of Pokemon discussion in this video because, to be honest, I kind of think it makes sense, you know, considering the game we're playing. I think it would be uh, weird not to compare it because there's so clearly a lot of inspiration. So yeah, obviously in the mainline Pokemon games, you get PP on your moves. So, you know, say something like Hyper Beam, you have five uh, charges essentially on Hyper Beam. And whatever you do with those five charges is completely up to you. But you only get those five and then the move runs out and you obviously have to, you know, go to a Pokemon Center or use like a PP Max or whatever to get the, uh, the ability to use move back. Now, Nexomon does not use uh, uh, that kind of system. Instead, it opts for a universal energy system. Here we go. Now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to try and show you how um, catching works. Because I think catching is really interesting. But yeah, as you can see in the bottom left, so that move. So if you look here, each move has a number next to it. And obviously, the more powerful a move is, the more um, ST it uses. So if we use Flame now, Flame will only use 5 uh, but let's show you how catching works. Okay, so what you can do to increase the chance of catching a Nexomon, you can give it a bit of food. So let's say we just give it a, a grape. Okay, so sometimes they like them, sometimes they don't. And uh, then what you can do is that will increase the likelihood of you being able to catch it. And what will also increase the likelihood is if you use a type specific Nexo trap. And then you do this quick time event, which slightly increases your chance of catching them. And then, just like Pokemon, you obviously get the chance to catch them. If you don't catch them, you don't catch them. We are just going to finish this off, though. But yeah, so you then regain energy when you're not being used in a battle, I believe. I'm not 100% on that. But I'm, I think that's how it works from what I can kind of tell. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of it. I just don't really think it's the most effective system in the world. Mainly because I just can't really seem to get it figured out. Okay, here we go now. So we'll deal with this guy wrong. So obviously in this case, double slash. So this will use 20, uh, 20 so we'll be down to 56. Jesus, he absolutely just tanked. He absolutely tanked our little frog dude. I mean, I think the the P, uh, not the PP, the uh, the tiredness thing is one of the only real major issues I actually have with the game as a whole. I the rest of it, I'm quite a big fan of. I really uh, enjoy the designs. I think some of the designs are really interesting. There's a couple which are definitely quite weak. Um, I think especially like to be honest the normal types I've been quite disappointed with the normal types um, the normal types kind of are, I know normal type Pokemon are always really boring but yeah a lot of these ones are like incredibly 
Um, just not interesting, to be honest. Yeah, what we'll do, we'll start heading through. So, it, it is very Pokemon. You get these blazing shards which you can trade to people for things and I mean what's going on with this dude? Antipoisons. Five antipoisons. Okay. So yeah, you'll get like these little quests along the way. Which I, I quite like to be honest. It, um it's something which is really absent from Pokemon. Which would be kind of uh Definitely an interesting addition. And what I also like is that there's some trainers which you will only battle if you do instigate battling with them. You know, there's not some kind of blanket declaration of uh, of battle on every single Pokemon you encounter. Nexomon! Nexomon! God damn it. Yeah, I'm kind of, in, in terms of the team, I'm really wanting a to get a water type in because we just are really lacking anything to counter fire types at the moment, which is becoming a bit of a problem at the moment because we're in this desert and we just have nothing to counter them. I end up having to kind of brute force my way through some of these fights but anyway we'll send uh, Mara in. So another interesting thing actually which I quite liked was the fact that you get a choice of, uh, you, you had a choice of seven, I think it was seven, seven starters as opposed to you know normally you kind of get barely any you know you obviously get the three uh you know grass water fire and that's all you get whereas nexamon gives you i think it's seven and they're all different types as well i ended up going for grass purely because uh i always tend to go for grass types it's one of my uh um traditionally i just really like grass type pokemon so what we're gonna use a uh use a, a thunder yeah, I think the the variety of uh, and don't judge me. I'm kind of just playing this to show the game a little bit. So uh, yeah, I'm not trying too hard. But yeah, this uh, this guy's really dealing some damage on us. But yeah, the variety of the Pokemon, the Nexomon, the Nexomon. I keep saying Pokemon. The variety of the Nexomon you can find early on is something which I really really like because. You know, it it's kind of one of the worst things I find with like the Pokemon games is you kind of You know, it kind of sucks that you literally don't get to choose like any interest in Pokemon early on. You know, you'll end up with like your your starter type and then a normal type, then a bird. Whereas what I found with Nexomon is that you really do, you know, you get a really decent selection of, of uh, type choices really early on, which to be honest, I think is brilliant. It really allows you to have quite a different team. You know, I feel like this is a kind of game where multiple people can play it uh, and kind of end up playing in really different ways. Which is awesome, you know, it's not just like you're going to get stuck with uh, one specific type and that'll be the end of it. So we should be able to knock this guy out now. How has that not finished him off? Well, that will, yeah, there we go. Right, so he's going to bring out this little guy. Again, we're not effective. I, I feel like... There we go, not effective. So to this one, I'm just trying to, uh... Right, now this is when we'll bring in Mara. Yeah, the battles are, um... I'll tell you one, uh, another thing I really like as well. Is the... The AI... Is actually fairly intelligent. Uh, uh, from the sense that... It's not just... that They don't just kind of, um let you kick their ass you know they really actually put up a decent fight which like it, you know despite the exterior it, it kind of definitely helps nexomon come across as something more than just you know like a kids game 
which is cool, you know, because I think, you know, there is a massive issue in Pokemon with the lack of difficulty, and a lot of that does come down to how just crappy the, the AI is. You know, because you can kind of just push your way through battles because you know exactly what you're going to be going up against because it's always the same Pokemon. Whereas in Nexomon, you know, they the, the AI kind of switches out a lot and when they are in trouble, they do move to kind of restore a type advantage if they can. So here we go now. Should be able to clean this up quite easily. There we go. 158, right, Mara's surely leveling up. There we go. Thornstorm, that is awesome. Right, there we go, a couple more levels. And uh, there we go, right. Ah, oh, okay. See, look at that, and that's pretty cool. We're seeing a something else, which you'll see, is you do see starter Pokemon in the wild, which I think is pretty cool. You know, it's another thing that you know, people always want in Pokemon, but it's never really been the case until, you know, particularly late into a game. Here we go, now working our way through this area. But yeah, like the, the kind of, you know, area to area exploration is incredibly Pokemon. I don't see, I don't really feel like there's an issue with, you know, the kind of clear inspiration. I know some people have found issue with it. But to be honest, you know, as someone who grew up loving Pokemon games and was a little bit let down by the direction that Sword and Shield went in, I can't really say, you know, that I'm too upset by what this game's chosen to do. Because, like, the story, to be fair, the story is definitely engaging enough. You know, you got these kind of, uh, these interesting uh, screens. Of what's going on. And, you know, I mean, I, I feel like I'm just rambling a bit, but... I like taking photos of these, like, kind of title cards. But, yeah, it's definitely, you know, I feel like if you're a fan of traditional Pokemon games... This game is right up your street. Uh, you're going to love it. Okay. So yeah, the main plot does revolve around these tyrants. There is a lot of people that are prepared to uh, fight for this city. But yeah, if you are looking for a fix of traditional Pokemon, I genuinely think this is probably one of the best options for you in all honesty. You know, it's got exactly what you're looking for and it's got it in, in droves, you know. There we go. So you also get these warp stones and that's how you move around the map. Um, so if you look here, you've kind of got the uh, different places on the map that you can go. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to give you a brief look at some parts of Nexomon and I'm quite happy to um, answer any questions. If you've got any questions, be sure to let me know. I do have certain things that I do have to not discuss as of uh, just before the game comes out, but I am fairly... Uh, I have a fair amount of freedom with a lot of other things. So yeah, be sure to get in touch and ask me some questions. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. If you're interested in more Nexomon, be sure to stay tuned for a full review and other content surrounding the game and other indie games. Of course, my name is Tom. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.